This presentation is prepared as a partial fulfillment for Data 620 course, Fall 2017. My name is Wanda Sendegafu. My professor for this course is Kerry In the following time series, uh, Tableau Visualization, I will walk you through the, the World Development Indicators data source for the year 2000-2010, which contains population, health, and financial data. For the sake of time, I choose to use the top five most populous countries in the world. Let me start my uh, presentation by asking one question. In the year 2025, which country became the world's most populous country? Uh, figure one, top five most populous countries in the world. As you can see in the diagram, uh, China and India are the two most populous countries in the world. Both are way above the average. Due to a higher population growth of India, population difference between the two countries is coming down quickly. According to the Tableau's forecast, in the year 2021, here, uh, India will pass China. I strongly agree with this Tableau's forecast for the reason I will explain in the next slide. Figure 2, population, age group, and birth rate. When you look at the area chart uh, at the top section of figure 2, uh, China, China's population for the age 0 to 14 is declining drastically, it's below the average, uh, whereas for the same age group for India, it is above the average even though it is declining. Uh, the other factor is the birth rate, and the birth rate for most of the years in China, for China, right, it is below the average, whereas when you come to the Indians' uh, birth rate, it is declining, but still it is above the average. Coming back to our figure one, right, at, uh, at the year of 2021, India definitely uh, overpasses China with the population. The other thing is to consider here are, uh, for the United States, it is almost constant, the rate of birth. Uh, when you look at for Brazil, it is drastically changing. It is from 21 to 7. Figure 3. Population, birth rate, and mortality rate. Population change resulted from the interaction of three variables, birth, days, and migration. Here in figure 3, we, we can observe the following, right? Indian birth rate uh, is, most of the time, is above the average, and whereas all the other countries is below the average forecasted average. You can see, for example, China. In China, the birth rate is below the average, and at the same time, the mortality rate is almost zero uh, forecast in, for the year 2025. Uh, as compared to the Indians, in India, the death rate is higher in the earlier years, but it's, it's decreasing somehow, but not as uh, like China. Uh, when you come to the United States, right, you see the birth rate is almost constant, where it lies on the average, and that of the mortality rate is almost the same. Almost it is 8, as you can see it here. Figure 4, total GDP and GDP per capita. GDP is one of the primary indicators of the country's economic performance. In figure 4, the United States has the highest GDP here, which is 14.45 trillion USD. And at the same time, when you look at the China's, it is 6 trillion. US uh, roughly accounts for 24.9% of the global GDP. A rise in the per capita, a rise in the per capita here, uh, signals the growth in economy and tend to reflect an increase in productivity, education, literacy, increase in health expenditure, increase in life expectancy, and a decrease in mortality rate. This leads us to the last story point of my presentation, health expenditure and GDP per capita. Figure 5, health expenditure and GDP per, per capita forecast. This graph will help us to understand which countries spend the most and the least on the health care per person. Per capita, U.S. spends far more than any other country with similar life expectancy. As we can see in Figure 5, the United States 
is above average uh, in both health expenditure as well as uh, GDP per capita. According to the Tableau forecast, starting the year 2022, China's GDP per capita will pass the United States here. Conclusion Using Tableau out-of-the-box uh, trending and forecasting functionalities, I was able to forecast the population growth, birth rate, mortality rate, GDP per capita, and health expenditure. By analyzing birth rates, mortality rates, and life expectancy, we can explain past trends and accurately predict the future. This allows policymakers, program planners to properly plan and carefully use resources and funds. Thank you for watching this video.